Hey guys, Mirhud here, coming to you today from the Broke Rock server. Uh, we just got doing uh, the live stream day a couple days ago. I hope you all enjoyed that and the awesome face reveal. Yeah, you guys got to see my face. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, we got a sh couple of things I want to show you here. Um, number one, if you keep up with my live streams, by the way, that's every Friday and Saturday over on Twitch. Um, usually around 8 p.m. Eastern Time. You saw that I built this over here. I'm going to try to get a better angle on it. It's raining today. I don't know. It's always raining. <laughs> and there it is. We're at 560 right now. It seems like just the other day we were passing 500 and giving that uh, gift card to Redstone Engineer. And now we're almost to 600 and we're going to give away the next card. I got to put out a video for that. Uh, it's going to be a little one minute video, by the way. Um, just comment on it and you'll be entered into the next drawing. We're doing it every hundred until we get to a thousand. Okay. So six, seven, eight, nine, and a thousand. What do I need to do today? I'm going to show you the other thing here in just a second. I just kind of want to stop raining. I have to heal this bow. Ooh, 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 33 levels. I mean, I got them, but that hurt. That was painful. Okay. So I made some arrows. Um, went ahead and made some arrow of harming. And I can actually show you guys how to make that in case you didn't know already. Just have to find in my... Oop, disorganized chests exactly where I put the bottles boom 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 and there, I know there's another guy's doing a, a bunch of potion uh, tutorials uh, JDMC he's doing it so if you don't know how to do potions he's got a tutorial for almost every potion out there but this is how you make uh, these arrow of harmings I'm just gonna show you guys real quick and I'll need one of these boom and I need one of these there we go. Perfect. So, all right. So you get your water bottles. You put those in there. You make sure you have blaze powder right over here. And the first thing you put in is nether wart and you wait for that. You're going to see the little arrow here going down. Do, 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 do. It takes so long. It takes so long. And if you're, if you're not in it, you'll hear that little, um, a little blah, blah, blah sound when it gets done. Let's see if we can hear it. All right. I'm not sure if you heard that or the, if it got picked up, but yeah. Now you have an awkward potion. Now you need to add a glistening melon to it. That's going to make a, a healing potion. Then we're going to add glowstone dust to it, and it's going to make it into a healing two potion. And then you put the fermented spider eye, and it changes it from healing to harming. Looks like this one's going a little faster. Get the glowstone dust. Add that, see? Instant health. This makes it an instant health too. That's what glowstone dust does. It increases the potency of whatever you're doing. I hear a skeleton. Where are you? These guys sneak in on me. I had a creeper again blow up right over here somewhere. And this area is so lit up. And down here leads to nothing, but it's lit up. I don't know where these guys are coming from. So I do have an area blocked off over here. That's going to be a bedroom. Uh, I'm still kind of debating on how I want to do this bedroom. But this is about the size that I want. I want it to be like a grand bedroom. And I kind of want to put a bed in the middle with a canopy above it. And then some, you know, just some normal decorative stuff on the walls and stuff. But then maybe some space for some storage. But the real storage I think I'm going to make is going to be down here. I think that's down here, in here. Get rid of all this... Um, all this gravel and stuff, and then put an actual proper storage system. Might not be a an auto storage system like this is. Uh, I had to borrow that. If you guys watched the last uh, live stream, Broke Rock Stream Day. Um, but yeah, you know, not an auto sorter. Just you know, just a bunch of probably barrels because I'm, re I'm really digging on barrels lately, and just have them everywhere, like lining all like three of the four walls, and you know, just actually have a proper storage system. All right. So this is now an instant health too, and we're going to add a fermented spider eye to it. And that's going to make what we need. Now I need to find where I have arrows because I have arrows somewhere. If not, we'll head over to the skelly farm. Hmm. There's five. Thought I had a whole stack somewhere. All right, well, let's see here. This fermented spider eye is in there. All right, so instant damage two. Let's run over to the skeleton farm and grab some uh, 
Oh, wait. Actually, there's a quicker way to get there. We're gonna grab some arrows. Now, let's see here. It's actually nighttime right now, but now I don't care. So. Ah, except for that skeleton's gonna keep me from going through the portal. Get out of here. And another one. My base is lousy with mobs. What is hitting me? Oh my goodness. Okay. Can I just go through this portal right now? That's literally all I want to do. And there's going to be something on the other side of this portal. I'm almost guaranteed. Yep. Because there's so many mobs around this portal. I need to light that area up. I'm so bad at lighting areas up. All right. So skeleton farm is right down here. Run, 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 run. That's always on fire. It's always on fire. But trust me, this is a lot faster than going um, through the overworld because, of course, it's the nether. Tink. Perfect. And we're facing the wrong way. Perfect. All right, so if you guys didn't know, this is my skeleton farm. I believe I did this on a live stream. This is a trident killer. So the farm is, or the spawner is actually right back here. And they come across and they fall into this contraption right here. You flip that switch while holding your um, your looting three sword and, and money. I was here before and I dropped all that stuff, but then I left, so it didn't despawn. Sad face. I'm going to want to picking it all back up again, which is not what I wanted to do. There's just crud that was sitting in my inventory. All right, so, boom, 64 hours. Now, there's also... The, the thing between having uh, your poison arrows or your enchanted arrows of any kind. Where? Okay. In conjunction with having a infinity bow, you'll still consume your arrows. So if you look at my inventory right now, I have 64 harming two arrows, right? And, or incident damage two, whatever. And one other arrow, because when I run out of the harming arrows, I'll have the one regular arrow which will, you know, act as the infinity arrow. But it will still consume arrows until then. Just a little pro tip for you guys. I'm going to get attacked again as soon as I go through this portal. It's going to be great. Maybe I'll even get creepered. No? Okay, cool. We'll sleep when we're down here. Doobie 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 doobie. I just want to show you guys how to make this in case you didn't know. Because a lot of people don't know. They don't know until somebody shows you. All right, so we have, we're gonna put this up here. We're gonna take these three. And it's different than Java. Java, it's like some sort of a, with the lingering potion and you have to, you know, so you have to go get dragon's breath. Here, it actually makes sense. Bedrock makes sense with tipped arrows, with, you know, en enchanted arrows, whatever. You simply make the potion, so, you know, whatever medieval times you'd make make the poison. You throw it in the, in the cauldron, right? And then all you do, and this, this is why I say it makes sense, is you dip the tips of your arrows into the, into the poison. Boom. 64 more poison tipped arrows. All right, you see I've got a bunch right here, so... Put this back up there. And... And then... Hmm... I really, really need to organize this stuff. I will, I promise. It's probably gonna be in a live stream. Just, you know, organization day. There is a point to all the smooth stone. I'll show you as soon as I go to sleep. You can only sleep at night. It is dark as anything out there. Did somebody sleep? Did I miss somebody sleeping? No. It was dark as all get out out there. Okay. Somebody must have slept. I missed it. It's not my chat. It's weird. Okay. So if you guys watched the Broke Rock uh, live stream day, you saw that I was working on putting at least one of my towers in here. Okay, I was going to kill him, but... So we put this tower in here. It's kind of a short tower. Okay. I'm going to go fly up to the top to show you what the top looks like. Oop. I didn't get a chance to finish it because, you know, this tower takes longer than two hours to build. And I did a couple other things. But here it is. So, you know, just one of these towers I had to put in. I do want to put in another one. Ooh. Why does that say 570? I don't have 570 yet. I've got 560. That's weird. I gotta check that for bugs real quick. Uh, 
after the, after this video, I think. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I do want to have a somewhat duplicate of this tower on the nether side uh, after the new update comes out, utilizing some of the new nether blocks. So I want to have like the, I don't know, the regular, you know, medieval looking style tower on this side. And then one that looks almost exactly like it, but made out of all the nether um, blocks that we can get. I think that's going to look pretty amazing. The only thing this build is missing right now is a pillar up the center. And then the, the water. I want to have water columns right in between right here. And on the nether side, it's going to be lava, you know, of course. Actually, that's really bugging me. I must have hit the button twice is what happened. Because this thing does work flawlessly. But now I'm going to have to hit the button a bunch of times. Why does? <laughs> you can operate all these buttons uh, independently. As long as this one isn't on zero. So here, here's how you have to fix it. This is oh, so horrible. All right. So we're going to put this because we're at 560 subscribers right now. So I'm going to put this. Two, three, four, five. We're leaving at five. I'll show you why in a second. Yeah, that thing said like 670, actually. That was weird. That was super weird. It was either lag or I just hit the button too many times and didn't, didn't notice it. Four and five. Okay, now this is staying on five because I'm going to bring this over to zero. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Counting with mirror. If you watch my streams or my videos, we will count at some point. There we go. I'm waiting to hear if I hear anything else. <laughs> Because if I hear the redstone go off again, then I know I screwed up something. Okay. That's perfect. 560. That's so weird. I'm going to I'm gonna chalk it up to lag because it, it seems to work this time. All right. I'm putting out a tutorial on that. Uh, that'll be this week sometime. Probably in like two days, if I had to guess. I just had to get around uh, time to do it because it's actually a bigger... Yeah, you know, it's a bigger redstone build, so... Be about a half, hour, half an hour long video. Yeah. So anyway, right now I'm going to go ahead and put in the water columns and the central pillar. And I'm going to do that and then I'll bring you back so you guys can see what the final product uh, looks like. See you in a few minutes. All right, guys, we are back. That actually didn't take too long. Uh, I thought it was going to take a whole lot longer, but here it is. And as you can tell, I went ahead and did the water streams and all the little, uh, little air gaps there. And I... Definitely, I'm going to put lava on the nether side of things. Yeah. I love the way water looks, but I also love the way, you know, the lava looks. Because it gives that, uh, you know, the glowing, you know, it's a tough, you know, light source. Uh, here's what the internal pillar looks like. Uh, pretty much all it goes around. That's what all the stone, um, smooth stone was for. Uh, I've turned it into smooth stone slabs. And it just goes around. Uh, eventually, everywhere where there is a uh, cobblestone band, I can add a floor because that's about where they're all like equilateral distance. And then of course the top just looks weird. Everybody's gonna get dizzy. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. Uh, at the top, I'm thinking about putting in armor stands. Now that I'm already halfway up, we're just gonna keep going. <laughs> Come on. All right. At the top, I'm thinking about, um, if you guys watched the crown tutorial that I made on the sandstone castle, uh, you could put armor stands right here you know and have them like looking out like they're they're defending you but i'll need a few sets of armor that shouldn't be a problem because we have a lot of uh well we've got a lot of leather so you know we'll put armor stands you know put some armor on them and then you know have them face out maybe i'll even go you know find some mob heads and put them on i think that'd look kind of cool oh awesome last clip I, I i did look at it and i realized that i'd slept and then turned around and tried to sleep again and didn't know why it wasn't working it's because i already slept <laughs> super hilarious um i'm gonna go over here i'm going to harvest my potatoes real quick 
But yeah, guys, look forward to the video coming up. I'm going to have the redstone tutorial on that counter and, you know, being connected now. So that's awesome. And I'll get that done probably, like I said before, about two days. I'll pick up all these potatoes. All right. And let's put these together. Oh, what the heck? Okay. Perfect. Collect all my potatoes. Replant all my potatoes. That one didn't break for some reason. Hmm. And a poison potato. Those are always nice. All right. I just tried to plant a golden carrot. That's hilarious. And of course, this is for my XP farm downstairs. We'll go throw that in there real quick. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, come on. So close. Perfect. Catch potato Mike, this is what a farm looks like. <laughs> I'm not worried about the poison potato. That can just sit there and despawn, though. Those have absolutely no use. They should make a use for it, like in potions or something, but, but they don't. Let's go back down here. That bedroom. That's my next project. Figuring out the bedroom, and I will show you guys. The next live stream might be a lot of organizing. Uh, the next, you know, Broke Rock live stream. Be a lot of organizing, I think. Okay, let's put these potatoes in here. This isn't quite as, as good as the one over at Spawn. The one over at Spawn is like... I don't know, probably has like a couple chests full of potatoes underneath. I only went with the, you know, the small one. I don't think I need anything healed. No, I don't. Okay. Oh my goodness, that bow took 33 levels, though, didn't it? My goodness. Alright, guys, that's about all the time I have for today. Uh, check me out on Twitch on again on every Friday and Saturday at about 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'll be putting out a Nevercraft video here in a couple days and that, uh, that Redstone tutorial. So... See you then, and thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe.